Hi, everybody. Uh, okay, hold on. It is on. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Rhymes with Play. Uh, I'm Vito. And uh, I'm Daniel. Uh, we are devs on DST. And today we have uh, update news for our beta. And we're going to show you some of the stuff. And the beta is going to go live shortly after, um, <laughs> shortly after the stream, unless we find a whole bunch of crashes oh, yeah. here, yeah. and then we're going to go and fix them. Um, but yeah, anyways, you guys have seen me. Have you have you been on the stream before? No. Oh, okay. So, um, well, you're so uh, be gentle. Um, who are you? Uh, describe what you do. Maybe? Okay, I am Daniel. I am an artist and animator on DST. Cool. Who is this man? <laughs> um, okay. So shall we just get started? Actually, uh, it takes a while to load the game. Why don't you talk? <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> um, okay. Um, okay, so this update is a lot of stuff is in the caves. It's, it's not a skill tree update. Um, we're trying to add more stuff, just like new content to the caves, um, especially the rifts, because last time we opened the rifts, but there was just like one type of thrall that came out um, so we just need more um, there's a, a little so there's some stuff that's not related to the rift but most of it will be and, um, obviously i know um, that might change during the uh, beta uh, depending on feedback uh, quick question um i am an animator in the game uh started on shorts for about half a year, I think, and then went straight into the game, so, yeah. I have to use this one. The, the one that I called Caves is a forest, it's not, a, <laughs> it's not caves. So I have to use this server, which takes a while to load. Okay, so, um, can you turn down the audio on OBS? Like, which, like all of it? How's that? I don't know. It's just Jan's asking me to turn down the audio. I turned down the the desktop audio and left the mic audio a bit the same. Is that okay? No. Oh, he's coming. I did it wrong. He's coming. <laughs> <laughs> um. So is, is it? Well, oh, okay. The music is a little bit on the Yeah, I side. moved it down. Is that okay? Put it to about. It, w it was maxed before, and then now I have it here. Um, a little bit more. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll move it because it's, it's not doing anything right now, yeah. so you can't tell. Leave it there. Okay. Yeah. It was on max before? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Um, no, our voices are on max as well, so <laughs> there's no, we can't max our voice anymore. Yep. Um, so will this be more of a content or QL update? Um, it's kind of a bit of both. We didn't want to call it a QL update because of like last QL updates were very focused on that and there was like a lot of things that were QL and we didn't have time to do that this time. Um, this this cycle, like it's summer, a lot of us have actually been on vacation so a lot of things are gonna are still working are still gonna be a work in progress. So we'll be oh wait. Not still no good? It's still too loud. So there we go. Okay. Okay, so um, I'm going to jump into Winona first because some stuff changed for her. So there's a little bit. So her her part in this is QOL, basically, uh, because when her skill tree came out, a lot of her um, shadow powers did not work in the caves. And that was more of a technical issue. It wasn't... Um, like by design we wanted it to work which is just that it, there was a lot to make it work in the caves and so now we can look at what oh i'm using all my keys <laughs> we're known fans
I wish I could use caves only. When we when I dev, I have this hacked caves only <laughs> server, so I don't have to do this. And there's earthquakes every five minutes. Oh yes, yes. <laughs> Dan sits next to me, so every time I want to show him something, it earthquakes, and I'm like, okay, we're just gonna wait it out. <laughs> uh, all right. So the uh, let me give myself a miner hat first. And make sure I actually have the skills. Okay. Okay, I can't. I gotta use the rose glasses hat actually. Uh, lantern. You guys already got. As, I think everyone's are the the update for the um, tentacle teleporting. That's already out, so I don't think I need to show that. But um, you can already use tel use the tentacles in the caves to teleport like their wormholes. Um, but the Bridges, that's the new thing. So I'm gonna find a spot. Can I do here? Over here. Yeah. So the vine bridges will now work in the caves. The main problem was the void walking, which that the trade-off is you cannot void walk anymore. Um, but there's more, so don't just <laughs> don't put <bear that>. yeah. up <laughs> But we'll show this first. <laughs> So when the bridge breaks, now you will fall. It's it's basically like the sinking mechanic in the ocean. Um, okay, yes, that's the thing. Hold on, you guys can riot while I type this. <laughs> Cheats enabled equals true. Require debug commands. Or debug keys. Can I teleport now? Nope. Oh. Cheats. Nope. Okay. Anyways, I give up on that. Um, Carly done. <laughs> done. <laughs> okay. I I'll, was I'll, I'll just ignore that. So the new thing we added though is there's a crafting for everyone, which is uh, Spelunker's Bridge Kit. So that's the thing. It's it's a pretty low tier item, but it only works in the caves. And um, you can see the maps. It's just ropes and boards. Uh, I'm just going to give myself instead of crafting a whole bunch. Um, rope bridge kit. So this is this is one you did, right? Yeah. Um, I took the so I did the vine bridge earlier. And I took this, the base of the vine bridge and combined that with the, um, I guess the telepad stuff, the three dimensional look. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. So <clears throat> it is. Let's see what this is. So this, so how this one works. There's also a new mechanic is because um, the length is different, right? So basically, the number of kits you need is how, it, like that's how many will depend on how long the gap is. I'm gonna drop. The 10. I just have one and it'll show you. So this gap needs two. So the red part means I'm missing one more. And this one needs three here. This gap needs three. Three is the max. So you can't go, you can't build a bridge bigger than three. Uh, so let me just grab that and build a bridge. I'll build the long one. So these bridges are permanent until it earthquakes. And earthquakes will do some damage to them. So, but they won't just immediately break but eventually they will break yep. um, obviously that the amount of health how many earthquakes that's up for tuning as well but I think um, that's in so you guys can play around with this in beta see how you like it I think I forgot to put in the <laughs> minimap icon so I know people will report that but we will add a minimap it's icon been, it's been done yeah we, we did that Dan made the icon I just haven't hooked it up yeah so I think that will help a lot if you can see where your bridges are um, yeah, so this is this is one of the new. So this I would consider like a QOL thing, but we put this in because we fixed the void walking. Um, yep. So this is what you get in place of it, which I think is better. <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah, you cannot destroy it intentionally. Um, we do not have that right now. Uh, like I can do it with the <laughs> debug command, but um, I'll show you. We can show you what that looks like. Um, I forgot what it was already. What, earthquakes? What? No. 
destroy. I, I can't remember. I can't remember what the command to destroy broke bridges are. Okay. Anyways, um, so that's that. Um, now on to the shadowy stuff. Uh, yeah. Okay. We have we have one thing that actually isn't shadow, but I'll, let's go through the new shadow stuff first. Unless they have questions on this, can these bridges burn? No, they cannot. They're kind of like the docks. Docks. The docks don't really burn either, right? Uh, the max distance is three. A gap of three, three tiles. Um, so this is the max. Basically, it's the same um, as the vine bridge. The um, vine bridge also only does a max of three. Uh, acid rain does not affect the bridges. Um, Currently, there is no way to repair them, nor can you see the damage on them either. So we'll see. It. We'll see. I mean, we'll see what how that plays out, and yeah. see if we need to add things like that. Um, but we do do get questioned a lot about what if I want to break it down manually? Maybe we do need to add that. Like May, he's always asking, "Can I break your bridge?" Yeah, but yeah. yeah but for some reason, May wants to break the bridge all the time. Okay. But I can see someone accidentally building it somewhere they don't need it, or oh, I, they'll build it somewhere it's like, okay, I don't need that area anymore. Yeah, so people want to watch. know what happens um, to things, items. So that's that's a good point, because we uh, Jesse did update that. Um, I'll use uh, um, the vine bridge, because I don't remember the code to break those bridges. So now I'll just drop, I'll drop this stuff here. A few things. All right. I should be safe here. There. So that's what happens. There's, it's an effect, so that um, we can just get it working for a lot of things very quickly without like going through every item, giving them like a fall item and everything. Oh, the player is the only one that has like a custom like falling animation. Are we? Does, what happens to monsters? Monsters? Yeah. Uh, I'm, it should be the same as what those items did. Ge generally, that's like that's the the default. Um, so that's what we would see. Um, the bridge art is final. It's still good. <laughs> and your your stuff is gone. You fed the void. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's move on, shall we? No, you cannot put it diagonally. All all the rules are the same as Winona's. Um, vine bridge, straight only and gaps of three. Do you dive? You fall? No, you do not. Oh, right. I sh did I not show that? You did. You did. Yeah. Okay. You yeah, you do not dive. Divide. It's just like you don't even lose anything. I don't think I made it. I made it currently that you don't lose anything. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Um, next, depth worm update. So the depth worm. <laughs> um, I'm gonna take off these glasses. The depth worm has a scarier version now. Should I just do it here? What's a good source of light? Oh, I can just build her... A spotlight? Yeah. <coughs> oh, what am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna spy it. Spotlight. See you soon. for this uh, I don't know if they know what they're expecting no nobody knows nobody's guessed worm boss it's not really a boss does this look familiar <laughs> to anyone <laughs> Jason's baby <laughs> he really likes making this boss so he, he brought it back to DST as well but it's it's different the, the head, head is it's a different creature, basically, than the one you guys have seen before. <laughs> so if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, if you've played Hamlet, it might remind you of something from ha Hamlet. Yeah. But it's not the same creature. Um, uh, we'll have, we'll, we have, we can talk more about it when we show the um, concept art, but it's, it's a crazy cool fight. Like, like if this thing is, it can eat, eat you? Oh, I died. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to get eaten so that you can see. Give myself like 99% damage reduction. I'll do it again just in case. Okay. 
Um, I'm trying to get you two. Yeah, I can stop moving. There, he got me. Okay, so I'm, and then you get digested through through him. <laughs> oh, I'm going through his whole body, <laughs> and then you get spat out at the tail. But yeah, as you saw, basically the hint is that while he's eating, he stops. So the trick is give him something to eat, and then you can you can hit him while he's eating. Um, and this is the earthquake. <laughs> <laughs> earthquake. Um, okay. Um, this is. I don't think I want to fight it, but because I think we'll leave that to you. Uh, there's the spikes are dangerous. So like if you, I think if you're just close to them while it's moving, I think it's not good. Or I think if you hit him, hit him while. Yeah, you can't attack it while he's moving, or the spikes will get you. How much damage does the eating do? I do not know the actual numbers on this one. Um, does it work like a varglet as in it replaces big hound waves? Very good question, because that is the intent of it. Um, currently, for beta, it just replaces all the hound waves so that you guys can just test it <laughs> uh, yeah. without having to wait for the, the this higher tier spawn. But it's, it, when we're at the end of beta, before it goes live, it will be like the hound waves turning into the varglets. This is that, basically. Um, okay. Um, how do I get rid of him? I'm gonna just try and kill it with code. Yes, I win. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, good luck <laughs> with this. Bot. Easy fight. Yeah, I think. Uh, it's like the bug. <laughs> see, set. Yeah, Diogo and um, Jason worked on this together. Set. And uh, one of our new animators, Jason. New? Oh, yeah. Yeah. We have another Jason. We have another Jason. So Jason worked with Jason on this worm boss. Yeah. Um, set. Send All right. Um, if you die inside the worm, it, I, I believe he that they're just using the same mechanic as the um, the shadow thrall that eats you uh, that we did before, which means you just kind of pop up next to him and yeah. you die, and that's it. So that it doesn't uh, mess up what the worm does. Um, yeah, the Jasons are multiplying, and whoever said the Jasons are multiplying spelt it correctly. For the some, new Jason. Yeah, yeah. How did you know? That is how you spell the new Jason's name. That's, that's... And we've got a third Jason. What's... Oh yeah, there is actually a third one. Okay. <laughs> um, next. I'm just looking at time. Okay. Um, what should we look at next? Um, maybe some items. Yeah. Okay. Let's look at some items. There's a lot of new items. Um, Uh, right. Oh, and keep in mind that when you do try out the stuff, a lot of it is still uh, going to be evolved the content, uh, during beta. Like the Death Worm, I think that Jason still has more plans with it. Um, yeah. But yeah, uh, like we didn't want to like delay the beta any longer. Um, so we'll just like work with the feedback and with you guys to finish all of what we wanted to do. Um, okay, so new, the Shadow Forge got new items um, because the Lunar one has a lot of items already. Um, so we added more to this one. Um, let's start with a new boomerang, the Gloomerang. Uh, free crafting, do it like that. Uh, let's try it out. So this boomerang, you don't need, it doesn't leave your hand. It's more, it's kind of like magical and you don't need to catch it. It just kind of, that's a sonic, sonic, sonic boom. boom. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's, uh, it's, why is this so blue? Can you guys see? You're what? underground, I guess. Yeah, so. but what happened to my spotlight? Did, the, did it get smashed? Did it get, did it get smashed? I think I, it got eaten. It got eaten? I guess so. Or is that or destroyed in the earthquake? Like, My spotlight's gone. All right, there. All right. So I was just doing it again. But Sonic Boom, and it's by charges. Um, I am 
guessing um, that you can it will go to zero percent and then you can repair it like any of the other void cloth gear. Oh my god, I just killed this guy. Whoops. Why is it hitting that one? There we go. So that's one item. Um guy was right. Uh, I don't know how much damage is it. Oh, it doesn't show because I'm in caves. Okay, uh, I'll have to use the, the other one. C spawn uh, punching bag. This one will show. 27. 23. Why was the first is 27? Oh, it's based on um, distance. I just remembered. So the further you are, the more damage. See, it's doing Oy. 45. And, whoa, this is way bigger. 55. This is kind of, this is kind of busted. <laughs> <laughs> but you, but things are always running at you, right? This, this okay. It's, I, the furthest I could do because he walks forward is 57. I'm just off my screen. Here, let me try it from here. All right, 57. That's all. Right. Yeah, that's pretty good. Isn't is that dark sword? I don't know. Let me try. No, is it more? No, 68. Okay. Still pretty good. Um, That's pretty busted. Is <laughs> it pretty busted? Okay. Um, uh, yes, you, you should. Uh, like, I, 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 the void cloth buffs should work for this stuff. Uh, well, uh, but I don't know if Diogo got to it yet. Um, okay, let's see what else. Uh, that's not new. This is new. Another. This is a melee weapon. So this is the Shadow Maul. Is this weapon okay? They're gonna. This weapon is actually our second life steal weapon, um, but you, it needs to be leveled up. So right now it's just like kind of basic. Um, then you have to kill bosses with it. So if you kill bosses, it will power up uh, permanently. I think permanently I, I can't remember but basically there's a power-up mechanic and then it will gain life steal and and i think it gains damage as well as well um let me just try and level it up once oops that's too much health oh well this is good. oh funny where's the gun come from Oh, stay there. Die. <clears throat> okay, so that's two kills. Three kills, it said something. <clears throat> so it talks, and maybe there's a bug, because I don't see any difference. It's talking now, so I think uh, there's probably a bug with the visuals. Yeah. But anyways, just believe me <laughs> that it levels up <laughs> when you kill. Uh, yeah, it's it's like Lucy, but this is this is um, not the first um, item that does that. There's another one. <laughs> I think the this one also talks too, right? Yeah. Yeah. So there's like, there's just more of these talking talking weapons. Um, by bosses, do you mean stuff with a giant tag? I think with the epic tag, which is basically up the giants. Um, okay, so that's that. Now we're moving on. So those are two new weapons, and then the, the next two items are B-Flow related. So I'm just going to craft both. Yeah, the X does have animation as it evolves, but it's not showing at the moment. So. Okay, I don't know how to domesticate a B-Flow without debug commands. <laughs> so it's probably, I'm not going to be able to do this, I think, because like, I don't know if I can just put a saddle on it. No, no. oh crap. Now do I have to kill him? No, it seems like... No, oh, yeah, no. okay. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> so, imagine you could, <laughs> you, you could put that saddle on. I'm just going to tell you what these items do. <laughs> I did that before. Okay, I'm going to type in again. What, did I have a typo? How far up do I need to go? Cheats enabled equals true. Required debug commands. Oh, derp. <laughs> right. Yes, okay, now I can do it. <laughs> there was a missing bracket. Uh, okay. There, this B flow will not be angry. I'm not going to pick up 
There was another. There was a second item. Okay, so this is the new shadow. Uh, what's it called? The shadow saddle or something? Yep. Um, which gives you, I think it gives you planar stats. I think. Um, and like, defense and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, and and hoof prints. Look at all these hoof <laughs> prints. Just leaving my dirty feet marks everywhere. But they fade away. Um, and also the gloom. Beeflow Gloom Bell. So this, I these I would consider pretty um, quality of life. Uh, what do you want to call it? Dan. Thanks. Daniel, Daniel Jason. <laughs> 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 I don't know. Okay, so now if the, <laughs> what? Now when you kill it. <laughs> oh yeah, now I do need to kill it. So this spell, the special property is if the Beeflow dies, if Daniel Jason dies. <laughs> yep. The corpse stays, and I can use the bell to revive it. Mm -hmm. There. Ah, okay, I lost a whole bunch of health though. I lost like max health. Okay. Um, I think that's it. Do they like it? <laughs> Does it look like they like it? <laughs> Does the axe have multi purpose? Actually, I'm not sure. I think it can cut trees. That's not multi. <laughs> like, like you know how uh, some of the lunar, all the lunar ones can do two things, right? Like they can, they can like hammer and uh, mine. Oh, uh, I don't know if this one can do that. But I think I'm gonna move on. Uh, let's see. Yeah. yeah, we've spent half the time. Okay, so we've done the worm boss. We've done. Can you revive it more than once? The beef loaf, the beef loaf? You would need to another beef loaf bell. So okay. each beef loaf bell, because it consumes the bell, the bell is gone, so you need to make another one to do it again. Um, yep, okay, so, yeah, Lemon Cookie has guessed correctly. Um, next, we have. Mm, there's, some, uh, there's some new shadow creatures in the work, but I'll probably just, uh, just show that. We'll talk about that more later during beta when they're more complete. Yeah. Um, uh, Okay, there's uh, so some of the new thrall type stuff that we've been adding. Uh, let me just get rid of this beef flow. Let's no, no start with yeah. So the corpse eroded away. That means it wasn't. It didn't have a beef flow reviver um, attached to it. Okay, so the first one I'm gonna look at is something that's kind of like a mimic. So let's make. I'm gonna fall. So Steve worked on this one. Yeah. Oops. Ugh. Let's do an axe. So this, how it works. I, I kind of just told you guys what it was, but it's easier that way. So what happens is I chopped it. Oh, it it turns back into the thing. So that's that's gonna be. Oh, I need to find another axe. So this is a real axe, and that mimic should eventually. <laughs> Where is it going? <laughs> Come back here. Let's Go see the axe. That's there. Okay, so that can happen off screen when you're not looking. Um, and then you, when you come back, if you leave stuff around, now you've got one fake one, but you can't tell which one. And as you saw, well, I know it's this one because we saw it happen, but yep. if it happens off screen, then you won't know. Um, and the drawback is it's like you go into a fight with like a lunar sword or something, and then you try to attack with it, and it just like turns into a mimic, and then you're screwed. So that's kind of um, what this guy does. Where, where is he? So how do you get rid of them? Where is it going? So you just step on them. <laughs> you just step on the Classy. Ball. There we go. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, I hope they heard the sound for it. But if not, just when you do the bit, <laughs> you listen to the sound for it. This will be, this, we believe, like we hope we can keep this one as a thrall, which means it will be caves and tied to shadow rifts. Um, is there a lunar version of this? No. So we want to... Like we don't want the lunar thralls and the shadow thralls to be the same, right? Like the shadow ones will be more tricky like this. Um, okay, someone's asking, can I mimic items inside a chest? I don't know, but I think you can put 
mimic the mimicked item into the chest, if that's what you mean. Because you can you can you can put him into your inventory and just like bring it around. And can you take the mimic to the surface? Probably can. I don't actually know if there's any guard against that or if it matters. I don't think it really matters. No. Um, yeah. Okay, that's one down. Two is uh, what should we? Look, what do you want to look at next? Mm. <laughs> They're talking about Lyos's sword. Oh, it's not. Uh, it's not the same. <laughs> okay. Um, what should I show next? The, there's a there's a new thrall. So if you guys remember the trio, that's the first thrall group that we did. Um, where, so that one had like a, a tank, like a, a tank, basically yeah, a, a mage yeah. and um, a warrior. So we add, we're adding a fourth of, of that kind in that family, a rogue. Um, but it, I don't think we're going to tie it to the trio's fight. Like it's, it's part of that ca uh, category, but it'll be a separate fight um, somewhere else. Um, for now, I think we're just, we, we just have it spawned somewhere like with the spider dens just for testing um we haven't finished the stealth mechanic for this guy yet so it is a rogue it will have stealth mechanics but it currently is not hooked up yet so i'll just show you what it does do when it's revealed the revealed part is is just like a, it's pretty simplistic because it, it's meant the, sh the stealth is meant to be the trickiness of it um, this is your creature yes yeah all right, so this is so you guys can recognize like just a, it's very similar to those um, the trio ones. <laughs> so it's kind of tricky. It's always trying to jump behind you, like so it's trying to jump behind you and then and then if you yeah and then it, it can actually it's pretty annoying. <laughs> yeah. So this is this is the guy. It's, it's not very strong. But yeah, if you don't know his pattern, it's pretty dangerous. But yeah, it's not particularly strong. But and I have a lunar plant sword, so he'll probably die before. But if I kept going, he would have tried to do the backstab on me again. Um, but yeah, so this is this is one of the creatures you can. Uh, he, I think he just spawns by himself with the spider for now. Um, if they're in the group, that's probably <laughs> kind of unfair right now. Um, um, we need to put in the group logic for it as well. Um, not when I said backstab, I just meant when it jumps behind you and and tries to just eat you from behind. Um, uh, so yes, this guy though will have stealth mechanics, which is the main point of him. Um, that will come next week, um, as well as that means you gotta learn how to detect it when it's stealth and reveal it and it won't be attack it won't have those attacks when it's stealth it's, it's definitely not going to be doing that while it's stealth it's way more fair when it's stealth so it's more about just like being aware that it's there so that even in the light you have to be kind of worried it's not just like in the dark you get hit by charlie now in the light if there's a stealth creature you might also be getting hit yeah. um, yeah. Does saddle and bell count as Maxwell shadow item? No, because those you don't equip those, right? You don't equip the saddle on you. That's equipped on the B flow, so that does not count. Okay, next. Uh, what's its name? So it does have a name. Um, I can't remember what it is, but if you have, if you guys know that um, with if you are shadow aligned in your skill tree, so Winona cannot align but if other players align with the shadow then you can see the name they have actually have proper names um so he does have a name uh, okay oh what i just think the um the nightmare x actually has the level up in the icon but not oh so it so it worked it did work yeah, it so just... uh here, me... sorry <laughs> just, just randomly okay it is working with just the animations so. yeah i'll make then you guys are just uh, here yeah. there you see it's got a little eye well we know it was talking too well, the... There, oh, okay. now it works. Okay, so there's just uh, it, it's just a sync issue. Then. Okay. 
Uh, that's easy. That's an easy fix. But yeah, so I believe there's more levels. This is yeah. just level one. All right. What, what are they talking about? Oh, this rabbit. Why do they want me to hit the rabbit? <laughs> what? Bully the rabbit. But why? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like. It said I like. Okay. Um, does the new Shadow Axe weapon have a damage cap? I'm not sure what you mean by that. Like it. It's it, it's three. I think three. Oh levels. oh three level. Okay yeah. It, yeah. it only levels up three times, so yeah. it doesn't keep leveling. I think that there will be three eyes. Yep. Okay. You work on this line. Yes. Okay. That's why you know. That's why you keep saying <laughs> yes. I'm like, are you just saying yes? Okay. No, no, that's three eyes, and the the, the um okay. the the teeth actually gets more aggressive and bigger as it goes. So okay. Um, it's quite monstrous by the end. I'm going to actually put in the um, the rift. Start. No shadow. Well, yes, my coming so far. Okay, so um, there's a new creature. Select here. Shadow Rift portal. Start. No, try. Try. Stage. I gotta get the Rift to level three, the max size. And then um, see if you can see the new. Oh! Uh, oh, it skipped some animals. That was weird. It skipped a lot of animals. Yeah. Oh, I think it crashed. Oh, could you maybe change the it, it, size? It has crashed. Oh. We'll show this one in the um, forest. <laughs> <laughs> Sadly, I'll just do it in the forest just in case. It's, it'll be faster. Mm. Did I load the right server? <laughs> do I, I don't know. Okay, anyways. Um, there's that, and one more thing, and then we can look at art. Yep. Can you deconstruct the mimicked item? I believe you can. I. Well, that seems like a thing we should look That's at. That's a good question. That's a good question. I believe you can, but I don't know if you should. <laughs> we'll talk to you, Steve, about that, because that seems... You just get the monster part, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think we should let you dupe things that <laughs> way, because... Uh, all right. You just killed the mimic. But good, good call on that one. <laughs> Thank you for pointing it out. Uh, no, I'll, just, I'll just do it here. So this thing's called the Icker. So it's like Icker. So it's another fate, another state of the miasma, basically. So the miasma can trigger acid rain. Now it can like congeal into like gel, gel gelatin. Um, it's pretty goopy. Just, just look at all this. So it slows you down if you get stuck. Um, and you can also like get stuck, sucked <laughs> into it, and then it'll digest you. And those and the pieces that fly off will go back in. Oh shoot! I'm gonna die. I need. <laughs> need help. I'm gonna give you that. Uh, how far do I need to go? I'm just gonna type it in again. my cheats enabled thing. Okay. Uh, let's use a hand bat. So if you try to break it with regular weapons, like this is kind of what happens. It'll, the blobs will probably, you probably can't out DPS <laughs> the blobs. Um, and I think with the lunar stuff you can. So if you, I don't know if both can do it, but let's see. Should be able to. Oh, bad timing on that one. Because it depends on how, how far the blocks flew as well. But yeah, it, it, currently it, it doesn't really have a, a lot of loot. It's just some nightmare fuel, but um, we do want to do, like there's there will be more interaction with this creature later. Uh, right now, we we just gotta get, fix the code first. Like it, it crashes, like this stuff doesn't animate. Um, 
But yeah, so this is a, this is another one of the thralls that will be tied to Miasma, so which is which means the rifts has to be open. Um, yeah, we will do more with it. It should be able to suspend items as well, not just players. So that's kind of the next bit that needs to get it done for this guy. Um, yeah, so I think that's it for this guy. Let me just make him spawn on top of me. So this is what should have happened when I was in the cave. Yep. But it crashed, um, which is my fault. Okay. Um, all right. So one last thing: um, the beta comes out after the stream. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna do the last one here. So the last one is not specifically caves content and not rifts content either. It's actually, um, it's actually just like you can even do it day one. It's um, so it's just an a new I'm just gonna go like, rabbit hole so you can see should I just tell him oh what what did I spell carrot wrong all right so we have a new rabbit you have to feed yeah, basically just showing you how it's done. <laughs> <laughs> there, this is Trit the Benevolent Rabbit King. So, <laughs> we have. <laughs> let's zoom in. <laughs> he looks so funny. <laughs> Here, just let me just get out of the way. All right, so there, he's, there's a few different ways to interact with him. So, like, the way I, what I got is basically a friendly interaction. Uh, let me put away my sword just in case. <laughs> um, but uh, in the friendly version, uh, there's some stuff you can trade with them. So I need to free crafting that, but I can't see. Uh, there's a coat of carrots. Let me just grab that. And coat, a burrowing horn. And Warren Reef. Okay. I'm going to just get all the new stuff. <laughs> 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 okay, so there's just a rabbit sitting on it on the top of my head. Uh, I think it's supposed to, I don't know if it's done yet, but I think it's supposed to let you just like get near rabbits, like you're not scared of me anymore. Oh, that one was, oh, it, okay, that wasn't, that was because it's dusk, okay? That wasn't because it was scared of me. So, you, so I think there's, I think Jason, Jesse also wants to make it so you can, in this mode, you can just like pick up rabbits. Um, with this hat and then the coat of carrots is for bunny bunny men um they will be, they will be they will follow you i guess i think that was it yeah yeah so it's so I, um kind of like the one man band but for bunnies instead or bunny men um okay so that is this version this is the benevolent rabbit king <laughs> can you feed the rabbit on your head i don't think so let me uh, i mean he still needs work right let me see let me I doubt it, because I don't think it's a creature. No? No. Okay. Um, should I do the other part, the other version? I uh, yeah. <coughs> Okay. Uh, no, I'm just going to attack him then. If you attack him, he, bec there's, he becomes... What's he, does he have a different name? I called already. Rabid, Rabid King. So he's Rabid now. So he summoned a bunch of... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Am I gonna? Can I win? I to, okay, these. Okay, it's okay because I, I have 99% damage yeah. absorption. I think there's gonna be a different art for these guys. This, this is the beard, their beardling art right now, but I think we're gonna do a different build for them. <laughs> okay, I, I, you're gonna watch for it. I'm gonna wait, wait for it. Come on. Okay. All right, there. So if he misses, then you can go ahead. It? it needs a bit of work where this guy's still pretty new. So. But that's, that's I'm still gonna kick me. It's too funny. <laughs> I think he w does a wake up kick too. Wait, who was I talking to? I was telling Jesse that he does a wake up DP, and he's like, "What does that even mean?" 
Well, I'll show because you'll you'll know what that yeah. means. Right. If I keep, if I just keep, I, you better not die from this. I'm gonna take out the sword. Oh, he didn't because he yeah. had to do this. Okay, but he would have done a wake up VP otherwise. Okay. Anyways, that's <laughs> it. <laughs> so let me just try that. Okay, let me let me try one more time. Kick me. <laughs> I feel like some tuning needs to be done on this cooldown because <laughs> you literally can't do anything other than use ranged weapons. So you should take this off. You have to get that, get that boomerang. Yeah. The gloomerang. Gloomerang. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me destroy him. Done. Okay. So, oh, he drops different loot. So you're right. This is a sword you cannot get um, from the store. Uh, um, I don't know if I want to. Rabbit King Saber. I think there was something about it, but I can't remember. Something to do with beardlings or a bunny men as well. I can't remember. Anyways. That will you can figure that out on your own. I think it has some interaction with uh, Bunny Man. Um, was that everything? There was a because I left you very little time for your was, art. Well, there's not a lot about today. Um, there's the other shadow monster that was. Uh, it's funny, real quick. There's another new. This is the new. This new shadow monster. Um, is actually going to be rift level. It doesn't have the. Um, the red parts to show it yet that's why it's still not finished but um this one will not show up here it, it is a rift oh, holy crap <laughs> <laughs> so it does a counter attack if you attack when it teleports it will counter but not always i don't think it's always okay it's doing it every time <laughs> <laughs> um and now i can't even see it hello it's bugged hello it. okay it's bugged <laughs> um so that guy will show up in the ruins during the nightmare cycle when the rifts are open and it will be rifts level so it will need the visuals to show that and it will need to not go invisible <laughs> and uh, some work needs to be done um okay um we are going to go look at some of the art yep yeah, let me exit the game do it do it. I'll put it to the menu so that we have some music. Like this. I'll just leave it like this. Okay. Uh, Start. Go. <clears throat> Alright. That's it. Alright, cool. So um that shadow creature we just saw is uh the the starting of the designs for it, the concepting. Um this is Steph. Yeah. And um yeah, when we start when we started creating something, we really just create anything what we want and sort of then start narrowing it down to sort of what works for an idea yeah um sometimes the ideas we have like oh this isn't going to work now but we might use it for later mm -hmm. um, which does happen um so yeah this was just a <gasps> keep going i didn't i didn't tell them about the horn the horn oh yeah we'll do that after, after okay. That? okay we'll show you the horn because the horn will be very good it's very good right. it's just probably the thing they care about the most okay um so next is um this is jason's work so this is his redesign oh uh, um yeah yeah so, so it's it's uh it's, what was it called in hamlet this guy what's uh, this guy <laughs> the depth worm right or yeah is well yeah. ours is the depth, ours is the depth worm. Worm. okay yeah, yeah. but yeah, so yes, Jason sort of um, redesigned the one from Diaz. Pug the Pugless. There we go. Big Daddy. Big Daddy. <laughs> yeah. So he was redesigning that. And yeah. um, when he was just, when he created this mouth, he was trying to work out how it was going to eat. So he looked at reference. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the reference. Yeah. And that's how he <laughs> progressed with that. Yeah, it's more alien like for sure. Yeah. Uh, designing of the Bunny King, um, and also the stages. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. There's so you guys see the bottom row are, are all in game. Yep. So you'll notice there's a lucky rabbit, um, which I didn't show in game, um, but 
I think it is in game. I'm not sure if the builds in game, but the mechanics are in game. But I'm not okay. going to explain that one. You can just if you get lucky and get one, you'll see what it does. You'll figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> um. So this was designing this guy was um, we what we know we wanted we knew we wanted to have a rogue. So we one of the concepts was a little tiny guy, which <laughs> was. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> well, I had that inspiration from like Tonberries, but um, yeah, it wasn't going to work. So <clears throat> we wanted something that matched the, the original crew, so that's how this guy came about. And um, one of the things I was thinking when I created this guy was about a Cheshire cat, where I wanted like a smile to appear in the darkness. Yeah, so that is going to happen. Yep. That will be part of the stealth part of the thing. And you'll get to see that when we, yeah, when we get to the stealth part. Um, and also when I was designing this guy, I found out very quickly why we don't design snakes for this game, because it's very hard to animate them in Flash. Um, so I had a try at it, it wasn't quite working. Um, it was, it has directions, but it, it slides too easily. Yeah, the, like long, lengthy um, positions like this are generally not great for our billboarded system. Yeah, so then we get, so that's how we ended up with this guy. Um, and that translated really well to moving around where we wanted to go. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, what is it? Uh, some of the bell designs. I think this is Amory. Uh, oh yeah, so many different. She she likes to design a lot, so she'll design and keep designing and keep designing. We have to just, like stop her. <laughs> <laughs> They're all good. They're all good, but she can't stop. She just like uh, she. She'll put, finish an idea and go, I've got a better idea. Like, okay, look, we're, we're going to put this in the game. It's going to go. <laughs> um, Steph doing some of the saddles. Um, these turned out really nicely. So, again, we're looking at combining the materials we have. Mm -hmm. and... Is that dreadstone? Oh, yep, dreadstone. Okay. We brought back the dreadstone for these guys. And when I was designing this, I was wanting to work out we, we, we want to have either here the, the sickle or an axe. And the sickle actually had already been done with the similar to the one we've had before. Mm -hmm. The scythe, right? Yeah. Pretty and similar. this is my rough for the axe. So the axe that ends up in game is close to this and sort of, yeah, more extended, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, and that's it. Oh, hang on. You've got more pages. Got more pages. What do I, what do I got? Oh, just briefly, um, because the bridge was very quickly designed and went straight into game, because it was based on the vines. Mm -hmm. um, there's not a lot of art for it. It literally just got designed into the game, like mm -hmm. came together really nicely. But we needed it just because of um, the voids. Because yeah. uh, this is me demonstrating that, yeah. Well, basically you drew this and asked, does this happen? And I said, no, and that was the end of it. <laughs> that, was, <laughs> that was the end of it. That was it. Yeah, this, uh, what, no, maybe a DLC character down the line. I think that's it, yeah. Yeah, cool. I kept it short because. Uh, oh, you didn't have to. Okay. No, oh, but now I can go and show them the horn. So you saved. You saved time for that. How do I like it? Uh, we'll have an extended one when we get out of beta. So. Let me do forest only. Okay. Let me get to game screen. I'm back on the forest world. So the the horn is the third item from the rabbit king that I crafted, but I didn't show what it does. If you don't beat him up, you can... Can we throw the axe like Woody in Forge? No, you cannot. We don't have a weapon that does that right now. The only... Um, so far, I think... Uh, Wigfrit got one of the forge skills you know, into main line, but oh, okay. you can start distracting me. Okay, <laughs> let me get my commands back. Oh, got him. <laughs> uh, oh, there's a horn. Is that? Hmm? Do you see it? You, you dropped it, right? It's in the, on your body. Oh, I had it with me. Yeah. This one? Yeah. Okay. Ready? Do you, what do you think it does? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. No one's asking about it. No one knows. Okay. I'm just going to do it. So what it does is... Oh, it made a hole here. 
open to do. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's called to do. <laughs> It's, uh, it's, so I think it needs a name, it, but it, basically it's a uh, it's a storage hole. But you can open this anywhere, kind of like um, Maxwell's box. So I don't know how long it lasts, but if I put something in there, let's just put all this beard here in there. Wait, I didn't pick. Oh, there, beard here. Beard here. All right. Does it close? How long does it take to close? I don't know, but that's an extra large chest on the fly, basically, um, what, at the cost of just bringing this horn with you. Uh, you know what, I'm just going to walk far, because I don't actually know um, I'm curious too. how to get it to despawn, or if I, can I just play it and get a new hole right here now? And that one's, I'm guessing that one is closed now, I'm guessing. and. My stuff is here. Yay! Nice. So that's that. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. And this is like, this is everyone's thing. It's not like a character specific item. Um, it should work in the caves. Uh, oh, oh, you mean does it? No, I don't think it will. Tra items won't transfer across caves. It will be like the um, the magician's chest where the caves has its hole and well, the dimension and then the forest has one. So you get you, got, you use them separately, but you can, you can use it in the caves, but the caves will have its own storage. Uh, yeah, so um, this so keep in mind that I think every player is opening the same hole. So it is a commun communal hole. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, but, uh, like storage. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? And that is it. No. No, no, chat, chat, you, you get it, banned. You're all banned. No. Can, can, yeah, Mr. L save me. Okay. <laughs> um, I think, can we expect more weapons with special moves? Um, I mean, you can expect it. Like, we don't, we don't always want to just go straight there because, uh, like, Forge is its own thing. Um, if, if, if it makes sense, like, it made a lot of sense for Wigfrid. Um, but we'll do more things that are like like the sh like the stuff that Yoga added this time, like the boomerang, um, the leveling weapons, like that stuff is more likely to be done rather than a lot of skill shot weapons. Um, but yeah, like it, it definitely made sense for Wigfred, but we want to make sure not we don't just go there for everyone. Um, I think that's it. No skill tree this update. This update is mainly trying to um, just like. Fill, it, fill in some cave content. And, you, and plus the Rabbit King. <laughs> yes. The Rabbit King can show up in the caves too, just so you know. If you had, uh, if you could find a hole, uh, like a burrow in the caves, you can still get him spawned there. Um, okay. Uh, I think we are done. I think so. Um, horn durability. Is it repairable or is that. I don't know. Do I have to get a new horn every time? I'm going to use it up. I'm pretty sure. Oh, it's gone. Okay. <laughs> Where's my new? Okay, it's over here. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Um, Winona's changes was that she can now use her vine bridge in the caves. That's that's her change. And okay, I think any last questions? Does it turn into a beardling? The beard king? I mean the rabbit king? Uh, you know what? Oh, what's this? I think this is. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> this is the lucky rabbit. Pick it up. <laughs> Come on. Okay, so it just turns into a rabbit king without you needing to fill feed rabbit um, carrots. So basically, you can just like randomly encounter this bunny, and if you see it, just try and grab it. You run faster than it. Even I didn't even have a cane, and I yeah. ran faster. I wasn't on a road. I didn't have a cane, and I still ran up to it. So. Um, you could do, this could happen day one, but then I don't know what the materials to make this stuff is. Well, all of these are very doable early on. Like this is, okay, this one's maybe you need the papyrus or the reeds, I mean. But everything else, like, this looks pretty early game. So that's kind of early game. Um, Any way to repair the horn? No. Um, oh, I was going to try and see if he goes beardling, but I'm guessing not. My guess is no. Nope, he does not go purely. 
Okay, so there's no, he does not turn to Beardling. Uh, which is interesting, like, I mean, I think it would be too complicated. Um, can, will the coat of carrots keep money men from smelling any meat you're carrying? Um, I hope so. I mean, that would make it way more useful. That's another good question. Yeah. Um, I don't know who this is referring to. Is he shadow aligned or does he just look like that? The, the king? The, the rabbit king? king? Oh, the rabbit king? The, the rabid one? The, yeah. And I don't think he's shadow aligned. I don't think so. But I could be wrong, but I think it's just... He's just rabid. Just, like, yeah. Um, can followers get eaten? Is that regarding the, the worm boss? I, if it is, that's actually very good. That's the one of the strats. <laughs> <laughs> to let your friends get eaten. Just, just a tip. I mean, just a hint. That's one of the strats. Because <laughs> I think if he's digesting a creature, it, he eats way longer. I yep. think that's the trick. Because you can't attack him when he's actually moving. So... Okay. Um, I know, okay. Um, okay. We. I think there's a lot of questions about locating the atrium. So that looks like something we'll just have to discuss with the team. If, if there's some easy way we can improve on that, um, we'll look into it. Um, but yes, that's it. Oh, this. Why did they always want this so badly? What do they think it's going to be? Okay, they, I mean, like, they see my gift and they want me to open it. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, is there, is there ever King Oscar? Oh, no, 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 it's okay. the spider corpse was still there. Gloves, I'm gonna use now because I don't have anything right now. Am I wearing them? Yes. Confirm outfit. Okay. Happy? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> done. Um, I think we're done. Uh, we'll, we'll be raiding a DST streamer right after the show, and I think this is it. Um, yeah, so we'll go back once we get out of here. We'll go see the status of the build. I might look into why the gel blob, the Icker, crashed and see if that needs a build before, like to fix before we put out the build. Um, oh, and the animation as well. The animation? For so the character inside the Icker. Oh, is that done? Oh, it was done. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah, so that's all, I think. Um, goodbye. <laughs> Wait, no, here. What's goodbye. Bye. Is there, is there an outro? Yep.